So let's talk about how you get paid. This is a common question. So today we're going to do fun with math. So let's go back over here, let's clear this out, and let's do some basic math problems. So let's go back and talk about the actual commission. I, as the employing broker, or I'm going to use the word managing broker, get to decide the actual commission I am going to charge my listing or my seller to list their property. And let's say in this example, I'm going to pick 6%. I'm going to list the property for you for 6%. This calculation is usually a very basic calculation. So and in this example, the house sells for $200,000 exactly. My commission literally is 6% of that, and it gets paid based on the uh, sales price. So you would literally take 200000 times 0 0.06 and realize that the commission I charged was $12,000. That is how the commission works. It is a percentage of the final sales price. We can do another one just for simple fact. Let's say the house sold for $425,000. And I charged 5%. Oh, that's, I charged 5% commission. So what do you get? 5, 25, 10, 12, 20, 21. It's supposed to be at 21,000. $21,250 would be the amount of the commission that I as the employing broker earned, or you can look at it as the company earned. Now, how do you get paid? Good question. So here's how we do this math. When you sign an independent contractor with me, and you will often hear the term an ICA, that's an independent contractor agreement. You and I are going to agree on some sort of split between me as the managing broker or the company and you as the sales associate working for me. So let's do the easy one first. Let's say I know you are a beginner and you are going to need a lot of hand-holding to talk about the business. You're going to need a lot of discussion and education on how to fill the form out, how to uh, engage a contractor for a home inspection, all of this other stuff I am going to have to help you with. And that helping you is going to require some of my daily time. And for that, I am going to get compensated in the form of taking half or getting half of the commission. So what this is saying is, when I go as the managing broker and say, hey, we're going to charge 6% to list this property's person's property. And the, let's go back to the easy math one. The house sells for $200,000. Therefore, the commission earned is 12 grand. Now, that is the commission earned by the brokerage, the Keller William, the uh, <clears throat> Exit Realty, the Modulin Group. But you and I, as the sales associate who is representing me, the managing broker, have agreed that we are going to split 50 50 because you needed a lot of help. So therefore, 50% of this is going to stay at the brokerage level and 50% of it is going to go 
to you for doing all of the work. So in essence, the managing broker, the boss, the company, however you want to look at it, earns 6000 of those $12,000, and you earn 6000 of those $12,000. And I hope you see that it's merely 12000 times 0.5 gets the six grand. That is how you get paid. So let me go back and restate something I mentioned earlier. When you go to closing and you are representing your brokerage, the check, this initial check at the closing will be made out to the brokerage, not you. You can't get paid. You can only get paid from the broker you're representing. You can only get paid from the brokerage company. So when you go to closing, you will they will hand you a check for $12,000 made to the name of Fathom Realty, the Modulin Group, Bob's Real Estate, whatever the company name is. You will then come back to the brokerage office with the check and go here is a check for 12 grand that I just closed and here is our income called the commission. I, as the managing broker, take that check and put it in my bank and I write you a check for the amount that we actually agreed upon because you and I agreed on a 50-50 split so now you get a check from the Modulin Group in your name for six grand. That is how the split works. So let's do another math because I know people like to see math and love to do math on a daily basis. So let's say the property sold for $400,000. We were the listing agent, so I charged my commission. Now, I really like this guy. He's a good friend of mine, so I'm going to help him out. And we're going to charge them 4% commission. So you can quickly see that the total commission earned is going to be $16,000. That is the commission earned by the Modulin Group or the brokerage. But you are the one representing my company. But you now have some great experience under your belt. I don't have to help you a lot. I understand and trust you when you write a contract. I've looked at 30 of them. So therefore now, because I feel more comfortable with you, our commission has changed. And let's say now you are going to get 80% and I'm going to get 20. And a lot of times you hear this split called an 80-20 split. When you hear that, understand that the largest number is always given to you. <laughs> I would love to keep 80% of your money, but <laughs> that's not how it works. So when someone says I'm on a 60-40, they mean 60 to the agent, 40 to the company. If they're on a 75-25. So the largest number is always given to the agent. So in this case, you are now on an 80-20 split because you have got three or four years with me and I trust you. So you bring that check in and that check is for $16,000. I collect that check from you, but then I go, oh, okay. I now know that you are 80%. I would write you a check for $12,800. That is 80%. Now, maybe I skipped a little bit of math, but I hope we all understand how to convert a percent to a decimal, right? If you don't understand that math, feel free to reach out to me once again. We can talk about that. But here, 
80% is 0 0.80. So your commission is going to be $12,800. The difference in that, watch this math, this is pretty cool. This is why I love math. People all the time say, hey, I hate math. But math has an answer. There's always an answer. So if you got 80%, I got 20%. So what is 20%, which is 0 0.20, times that 16,000? Well, that's going to be $3,200. Or you could have looked at it like this. 16,000 times your 80 is $12,800. How much is left over? The amount that's left over is $3,200. So I get that number no matter how I do the math. I could subtract your pay from the total, or I could take my portion, which is the 20% of the total, and get the same number. Ain't math great? It works out great like that. So that commission gets split in some fashion based on the independent contractor that we have. Now, I believe in the future, what you're going to see may be a salary kind of deal where all the agents underneath me may get paid a salary. I could structure it like that. I could also structure, and I do often with some of my agents, a draw on their commission where maybe they've got a couple months between closings and they may come and say, look, I've earned my commission. We've pinned the property. Remember, that's what it's called pending. They buyer and seller have accepted it. So I've earned a commission, but I can't wait 30 days. Can I get a draw on that? So that could happen. Some companies have what they call a hundred percent program. This was very popular back in the nineties and early two thousands. And some of your bigger companies used to do this. One of the things that uh, I would say is Remax. Remax was great at this. What Remax had was a different model where they would charge their sales associate a monthly desk fee. Maybe we should cover that just real quick. So what Remax used to do, and there were other companies, I'm not just saying this, is where they might say, hey, look, Mr. Sales Associate, we're going to charge you $1,500 a month just to be in our office. But for that, you are going to collect 100% of the commission. Now, that may sound really great. What I heard was people, what I know is people just heard that and went 100% commission and their eyes light up and they go, oh, I want that deal. Okay, so understand that what is going on here is there is a desk fee meaning the agent incurs that fee no matter what they do. A lot of beginning agents do not like this because they know it may be four or five months before they get their first commission because they're just learning how to do it. Well, that four or five months, they're still going to pay the desk fee. So they may be $7,500 into it before they get it. But when they close, go back to that one example, that $12,000 commission that was made and they bring the check into the company and go, here's the check for 12,000. That company would then write them a check for 12,000. They earned a hundred percent. And this deal with a desk fee was very good for what we used to call the big hitter, the high producer, the heavy hitter, however you want to look at it. <clears throat> Somebody that might be closing one or two deals or three or more a month and not wanting to give away 20% of to the company, they said, hey, dude, I, I'm clearing eight deals a month. I don't want to have to only earn 80% of that. I want to just pay $1,500 or whatever number. All right, that's an example. Could be 1,200, could be 1,000, could be 2,000. Because paying that 
and collecting 100% is way more financially advantageous to me because I'm doing a lot of deals. People that were not doing a lot of deals, like beginners or maybe part-time people that say, look, I'm only going to sell five or six a year, would rather not collect 100%, i.e. go back to that 80-20 that kind of concept, but not have to incur a monthly bill. So there were some brokerages that were working on a desk fee kind of concept where the agent would pay a flat fee just to be a member of that office. All right. Now, the brokerage that you work for typically is called a full service brokerage and brokerages love to use this term because it implies that, hey, we help you through all phases. They could do many, many different things for their client. You know, they could perform CMAs. They can help find buyers. They can help with the closing. They can help them find a home inspection. All of these things that can be given as a service to make your client feel like they have gotten full service from your brokerage. All these things here. Now, just like there are full service and the analogy that I always give, and maybe I'm too old for this, is if you understand like Von Mars men's clothing. So, well, it's not just men's clothing store. I remember I went into Von Mar and was buying a pair of shoes. And while I was waiting, the uh, floor salesperson came to me and she said, would you like a cup of coffee while you wait? That would be full service. However, there is this other company that exists called Walmart, where the service may not be getting me, handing me a cup of coffee while I'm looking at the tennis shoes, but the trade-off is the prices are cheaper, all right? And I will tell you, both of these companies still exist to this day. What am I trying to say? What I'm trying to say is there are people that will pay full service that four to six to 7% commission to get all of this help that we are talking about right in here. You know, all of this help that we just talked about, all the services that could be offered. They want help finding a home inspection. They want help ordering the title work. They want help doing all that. 